welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how to be more confident. Confidence can be something that a lot of people struggle with. I know myself personally, I've struggled with it a lot in the past and I find it kind of goes hand in hand with self-esteem and having low or high self-esteem. I've had a lot of people ask me how I'm so confident and whether that be just the way I carry myself or because I'm wearing a plaid pants out in public that maybe they wouldn't necessarily wear or a super fun and bright lip color or like eyeshadow look whatever it may be I've had on multiple occasions people ask me how I'm so confident where did I get this confidence etc so I always find I never really have an exact answer I find I usually maybe just answer them with like a trauma joke or like something because <laughs> that's another thing I find I'm not necessarily the best at taking compliments when someone's complimenting me I kind of I'm not that uncomfortable but I guess it would come across as uncomfortable because I'm just like really thank you but like I don't know what to say. So in my own personal struggle and journey and outcome with self-esteem and confidence I find that they do go hand in hand but they can maybe be considered two different things. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a whole separate video on how to have high self-esteem but for today we're talking about confidence. Now I find confidence is something that can be easily faked because you'll see people that on the inside internally have low self-esteem but they have a lot of confidence or so it appears and that to me kind of just comes along with faking it something that i've done quite often in my life but i'll fake it i say fake it till you make it and sometimes i still fake confidence if i may be in a situation where really internally i'm not feeling too hot about the situation but you just pretend like literally fake it till you make it and then eventually you might come to the point where you aren't faking anymore it's just confidence it just it is what it is i also find it sometimes hard to explain how to be confident so this little list i've compiled hopefully helps it's kind of everything i could think of or break it down into and maybe use to describe or explain so i find visualizing as silly as this may sound visualizing you how you want to be like your ideal self you need to think about it and really picture yourself there and then take the action to get there. It's like manifesting. You need to affirm yourself, make yourself feel you know what's up, you know what you're doing. Because a confident person doesn't have much self-doubt. Not saying they don't ever, like as myself, I'm not saying I don't ever have self-doubts. I do, I'm human, everyone's human. Nobody's perfect, but you gotta try and be as like sure of yourself as possible. Even if it's literally just picking what shirt looks better with those pants. You gotta be like, no, that shirt looks better. I'm confident on it and I know it. Help someone else. I find helping other people makes me feel more confident. That's why I like making videos like this. But yeah, helping people in general, giving someone advice, helping someone through something. Maybe it's just me, but I find that it like, gives me something back too. And not that I do those things for any sort of selfish gain. I don't, I'm actually a very selfless person. But I find that like after I give my friend, for example, some really good advice and on something and it works out for her, and then she feels good, then I feel good, I feel better. Or I found so many occasions where I've been going out with my friends and maybe they're not feeling like they look too good. So I'll be like, I'll do your makeup tonight, no worries. And I'll do their makeup and help them pick the best outfit. And then you can tell that when they're looking at themselves and they know that they look good, they feel good, and then they do good. And you can just see the confidence oozing out of them. That's another thing is look good, feel good. As silly as it may sound, it definitely helps. Like I find if I'm having a moment where I'm just not feeling myself or feeling good or feeling like myself or not feeling the most confident I'll literally throw on some freaking concealer and a lash and be like a brand new I'm like there she is <laughs> like do things for you that make you feel good if that makes sense and do things that you're good at also you know you need to venture out of your comfort zone and learn new things and how to do new things but if you're having moments especially when you're not feeling the most confident definitely kind of do that stuff do things that you're good at because then you'll feel good and then you'll be good but yeah along with looking good i mean like go to the gym if you're not happy with how your body's looking right now you want like bigger butt flatter stomach more toned arms go to the gym work out have a healthy eating moment do whatever you need to do or if you just love food then just eat some good food like do whatever you need to do to have your body feeling good because then that just helps your mind to feel good and that helps you feel confident. Always try your best to remain positive and optimistic because that'll help create a positive space and a positive vibe and an optimistic outlook on life, which then just helps in confidence. 
because if you're feeling good and feeling happy and you're just like, I got this, I got this, I'm good, there's that confidence oozing out. You also gotta try and stop caring to a certain degree what people think. I mean, depending on what your job is, your career, your goals, dreams, all that stuff, I think just like in general in society, you do kinda have to care what people think. I mean, some people don't and by all means go ahead. Personally, I think you obviously kinda have to care a little bit about maybe what you look or whatnot. I don't know, whatever your way of feeling confident is. But by this, I mean you can't care about what random people are saying. Like people that comment on my videos and say mean things to me or whatever, or people that comment on your Instagram posts or just out in public say weird things to you. You just kind of block it out and be like, okay, like, and just move on and don't try your best because sometimes it's hard. Do not let it get to you and just keep moving forward and keep doing you. Because 99% of the time, those people are just jealous. And I'm gonna do other videos on these types of topics. I won't get too much into it right now, but all I'm gonna say on that is people do and say vindictive things and a fear of jealousy. That is something my dad taught me. That is something that I live by. It's all psychological and they're having their own tough time, battling their own stuff. So you just kill them with kindness and say, sorry, you feel that way, whatever it is and move on. I also find you need to push through your limiting beliefs, like your self-limiting beliefs. By that, I mean, stop thinking that you can't do things. Don't be like, well, well, I can't do that. And I mean, there are certain things, like I guess I'm 5'3", I'll probably never be a six foot tall Victoria's Secret model, but <laughs> there are many other things I could do. So you need to kind of focus on, like I said, the positive and definitely focus on the things that are highly achievable and obviously things that maybe aren't as achievable, still give them a go. Don't, you know, maybe I shouldn't let my height stop me, but <laughs> don't limit yourself and think, no, I can't do that. I'm not enough of this for that or I can't do this because of this. Try not to do that because you're just self-limiting yourself. If you tell yourself you can't do something, odds are you're not gonna be able to do it because you've already set that in your mind. I also find talking to yourself helps. I know that might sound a little wild a little out there, but I don't know, like be your own best friend. Like I'll literally be in my room watching Netflix and be laughing at something I'm watching and like make comments about it to myself. Like I'm alone in the room, but I still do that. I, I don't know how to explain that. I just find it does or literally just like your voice inside your head or even out loud just to help self-affirm yourself and reiterate to yourself that no, you're good, you got it, you're right, you're making the right choice here. You can also look to people that you like love and that support you and love you in your life and your inner circle, whether it be family or friends or a significant other, whomever. I mean, you can straight up just come out and ask them and be like, I'm not feeling too good right now. Like, can you guys, you know, help me feel better about myself? So you can always go to your surrounding environment maybe for some confidence boosters, if you will. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for today's video. Leave a comment down below of any tips you might have to be more confident to share with everybody coming to watch this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if any of these little tips or whatever you want to call them helped. I hope they did. And as always, all of my social media links are in the description box down below. And subscribe for more weekly Friday content from me. All right, that is all. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.